Max Verstappen overcomes the Monza curse to make history a frightening crash for MotoGP's reigning champ, and Tickford Racing announces they're going to downsize next year. Let's get into it. In Formula One, Max Verstappen wrote his name into the history books, winning his 10th race in a row at Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. Verstappen had an early fight on his hands with Ferrari before leading Red Bull to a 1-2 victory ahead of Sergio Perez and Ferrari's Carlos Sainz in third. But it was a drama-filled race for Oscar Piastri, who made contact with teammate Lando Norris trying to overtake on lap 24. He was then forced to pit after a tangle with Lewis Hamilton caused damage. Finally, the Aussie was handed a five-second penalty for his duel with New Zealander Liam Lawson. He finished 12th behind Lawson. Formula 2 at Monza may prove title-defining. As contender Frederick Vesti took the sprint race win but crashed out of the feature race. It was won by Oliver Behrman. Frenchman Theo Pochet leads the overall standings by 35 points after scoring a fourth and third. Australian Jack Doohan is fourth overall after finishing sixth in the feature race. Brazilian Gabriel Bortoletto secured the Formula 3 crown after scoring second and fifth at Monza. Argentino Franco Colapinto and Brit Johnny Edgar split the wins. Christian Mansell was placed best of the Australians in 12th ahead of Hugh Barter in 19th and Tommy Smith in 27th. It was a spectacular Catalan MotoGP with the opening lap leaving eight riders down. Reigning world champion Francesco Bagnaia escaped serious injury after high siding through the first chicane, flipping him into the air. He landed in the middle of the track in front of a tightly bunched pack of riders. KTM's Brad Binder was left with nowhere to go, running over Bagnaia's legs, bringing out the red flag. Alish Espargaro led an Aprilla 1-2 from Maverick Vinales, while Jorge Martin completed the podium on his Pramac Ducati. Jack Miller was eighth on his KTM. What makes this one special? Start with the track, add drivers, let the battle begin. Hit the corners, not that hard. Okay, go, go for the gap, go for glory, go party with this guy. What makes this one special? We go all in. Alex Palau has secured his second title after winning the latest IndyCar event in Portland. Palau took the win from Felix Rosenquist and led title rival Scott Dixon. Fellow New Zealander Scott McLaughlin was ninth, reigning series winner Will Power spun to finish 25th and Marcus Armstrong was 19th. The NASCAR Cup Series raced at Darlington where Kyle Larson crossed the finish line first. Tyler Reddick and Chris Boucher rounded out the podium. And another major motorsport news, Tickford Racing has confirmed that it will downsize from four cars to two in the 2024 season of the Supercars Championship. There's no word yet on what that decision means for Cam Waters, James Courtney, Thomas Randall and Declan Fraser. And make sure you head over to speedcafe.com to have your say in this week's Pertech poll where we ask, are two car supercars teams the key to success? Cast your vote and let us know what you think in the comments. Looking ahead to next weekend and MotoGP will race in San Marino in Italy, NASCAR will race in Kansas, the WEC Fuji 6 Hour will race in Japan, the World Rally Championships head to Greece for the Acropolis Rally and the sold out Goodwood Revival will take place in West Sussex, England. And that's all we have time for in this week's Motorsport Wrap, but we'll leave you now with some sights and sounds of the Super Cheap Auto wildcard entry testing here at Queensland Raceway ahead of the Endurance Rounds.